Greetings, everyone. Time for another story. And this is, oh my goodness, one of my all time favorites. If I could hold this book, I would be holding it like a baby because it means so much to me. I'll never forget the first time I read it. It's a long time ago. And normally when I read this book to children, I read it several times because there's so much that you miss by reading it just once. So I let them notice things on their own, but since I'm only gonna read this to you once, I mean, you may listen to it more, um, more than once, but since I'm only gonna be here one time, I would like to mention something. Jan Brett, the illustrator and the author, she includes these very intricate, beautiful drawings, you can't see my hands, on the outside of the pages. And there's details in those drawings that help you to see what's coming up on the next page. And that's normally something I would let children discover themselves. But since this is a one-time shot for me, I'm going to point those out to you. The Mitten by Jan Brett. A Ukrainian folk tale adapted and illustrated by Jan, Jan Brett. Did I say Jane? Oh, I hope I didn't say Jane. Uh, and this is published by G.P. Putnam's Sons, a publishing company in New York. The mitten. Once there was a boy named Nicky. He wanted mittens as white as snow. So if you see here on the outside, you'll see things happening. And this tells you what is coming up on the next page. If you drop a white mitten in the snow, it will be hard to find, his grandmother told him. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens so much that Baba made them for him. And Baba is his word for grandmother. Oh my gosh, there's so many words for grandmother. Grandmother, grandma, um, gram, Baba. I called my grandma. Um, one of them I called her Momo, and the other one I called Wita. So lots and lots of names for a beautiful, a beautiful word, grandma. And her name is Baba. So if you see here, this is going to give you a hint. It's what's, what ha what's happening on the next page my pointer. When she finished knitting, Nikki put on the mittens and went out to play. It wasn't long before one mitten fell off. And can you see the problem that Baba was talking about? There's that mitten and it's so white that it can easily be camouflaged and disappear in the snow. And that's what she was worried about. Hmm, but look over here in this little mitten. I wonder what's coming up. A little mole found it and crawled inside. It was just the right size, so he decided to stay. So I'll bet you if we could, if I could pull this book up closer, we would see that the mole is getting into the mitten right there. Oh, and look over here. Guess what's coming next? A rabbit came hopping by. He wiggled in next to the mole. So there's the mole. <laughs> And it looks like the rabbit backed in. Or I guess he could have gone front and then wiggled and turned around and come out. Hmm, what's next? A hedgehog wanted to get warm. The mole and the rabbit made room for him. Oh, isn't that nice? Now he is going in head first. Look at that. Oh, and what's Nikki doing? I hadn't even noticed what Nikki's doing. But I do know what's coming next. <laughs> Oh, I love these flowers. These remind me of, of quilting blankets. Oh, so beautiful. The owl didn't want to be left out, so the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog had to move over. The little mitten was getting crowded. Oh my goodness, that Baba must have knit a pretty fancy mitten to be able to stretch so much. Wow. And poor Nikki. He's still wondering where it is. Next, I think I know what that is. It's been a while since I've read this, but I think I remember. A badger looked out of his house and saw the mitten. He climbed right in. So there they all are, and there's going to be one more. And I love this book because it's a pattern book, too. It reminds me of math. Oh, I forgot to predict. Did we see it? Well, not predict, but to see what was coming next. It started to snow, so a fox pushed his way in and made himself right at home. And this is about the time where I would say, 
Is this book fiction or nonfiction? Is it made up or is it real? Real facts. It's made up. Well, of course, it's a Ukrainian folktale. Then a big bear sniffed at the mitten. The animals were packed in tight, but the bear didn't care. He crawled in anyway. The mitten was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This is impossible. It is just impossible. Oh, and poor Nikki. He's still, where's my mitten? <laughs> oh, and look over here. Nikki's in the distance. And there's, oh, surely the mouse will fit. No problem. Then a tiny mouse squeezed in and perched himself on the bear's, on the big bear's nose. Right there on the bridge's nose. Ah, oh, Nikki looks distressed. The mouse's whiskers tickled the bear's nose. Ha, ha, ka -choo! The bear sneezed. All the animals flew out of the mitten. And if you all know a big sneezer, you know that that can really happen. When a big sneezer sneezes, oh my goodness, the whole house echoes. And I'll bet you Nikki heard the sneeze. Nikki saw his mitten sail up into the air. So it catapulted, it jettisoned out into the air and Nikki found it. Oh, thank goodness. And look at the animals here. They are without a home now. Well, without a home together. From the window, Baba watched Nikki catch his mitten. See, Baba, he called to her. I have both my mittens and Baba smiled. <laughs> but look at her puzzled look. He has no idea what happened, and she knows something happened. Why is it so big? The end. Do you see why I love the story? <laughs> Until next time.